All right, so now let's go ahead and start with presenting the add city screen as well as the setting screens to the user. Now, if you look at our weather list screen, and on the right hand side, you can see the preview, we have two different buttons. We have a button to add a new city, basically adding a new weather, and we have a button for settings. But if I go ahead and run the application right now, none of these buttons do anything. So we need to present our add city screen as well as the setting screen in sheets, in modals. But how do we create modals when we have to create two separate modals? Now you can use two separate sheets by saying dot sheet and then it will work like something like this dot sheet. But there is another way to do that without using multiple sheets. In order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is create an enum and I will call it sheets. I will also make it identifiable. This means that it can be used as and, and can be passed to sheets item collection or items variable. I'm going to go ahead and create an ID, which is of type UUID, and return UUID. You can also return some sort of a hash value for integer or if you're using strings if you want to. Now there are two different cases for the sheets. The first case is to add a new city. And the second case is when we want to display the settings. So there are two different options that we can use. After creating the sheets enum, we will go ahead and create a private state variable. So private, which is active sheet, and we will call it sheets, which will be nullable also. Next up, we can go ahead and implement the sheet function. But instead of using the is presented, we're going to use the item. And you can see the reason that we made our sheet identifiable is that you can bind to anything that is identifiable. So let's go ahead and use our item. In the item, we can actually pass in the active sheet, which is identifiable, and the content. The content is going to give you the active sheet. So the content is basically going to give you the item itself, which is the active sheet in this case, and we can perform an enum on it or a switch on it. So item, switch on the item. If the case is add new city, then we will end up displaying add city screen. If the case is settings, then we will go ahead and display the settings screen. Let's go ahead and remove the view part from it right here and build it. So now what we have done is that we have created one sheet and it can present to you multiple kind of models depending on whether it is add city, then display the add city screen, or if it's settings, then display the settings screen. If I go ahead and run the application now and press on any of this button, you can still see that it doesn't really do anything. Well, the reason that it doesn't do anything is that even though we have implemented those things in the sheet, we are not really changing our active sheet. The active sheet is still null or unassigned. So whenever we click on the gear shape, which is this one, this means that we are saying that we are clicking on the settings. So we will simply go ahead and set the active sheet to be settings. The next step is the plus button, which is for adding a new city. So right over here, we can go ahead and say active sheet again. And this time we're going to say add new city. Let's go ahead and build it again. And let's go ahead and try to run our application again and try to see if we can see the sheet. There we go. So now you can see that we can look at the add city screen as well as the setting screen. Perfect.
The next thing that we want to do is whenever we go to the Add City screen and we add a particular city, let's say if I add over here Houston and I say Save, I want to go ahead and get the weather of Houston and then display it right over here. So how do we do it? Let's go ahead and check it in the next lecture.